good people it's your boy mr rome cowboys fan talk right back like i never left what's up with y'all man as you can see i'm at my my niece's second birthday party you know what i'm saying um out here celebrating with family friends and um you know when i got cowboys thoughts man i gotta just get them off and i was texting with one of my peoples and we was just talking about you know how we felt about the team and you know i started to talk about that you know I feel like the team's mindset is a lot different than in years past. You know, the Cowboys spend a lot of time walking around feeling entitled. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like the league owes them something or, you know, just stuff like that. And, you know, from Dak to, to Zeke to, you know, in years past, Amari, et cetera, you know, it's easy to feel like that because we treat our team like we they're above other teams. The fan base does. And it's it's just easy to feel like that. But, you know, Zeke was asked a question recently at OTAs about feeling like he has something to prove, you know. And his response gave me a lot more hope for this season than you would think. His response was, yeah, I got something to prove, you know. And I got this, this information from um, Mike Fisher. Um, and I don't get everything from him, but, you know, he... he he actually brought it up on his show. So, I, I, you know, I give credit where it's due. He had talked about it first. And the thing that I like to hear about that is, you know, Zeke been in the league for going on seven years now. He has two rushing titles, an abnormal amount of yards. A lot of people that he came in with aren't even in the league anymore. A lot of people that people used to compare him to, is he good as Ty Gurley? Is he good as Le'Veon Bell? All them players is gone. Injury or just washed up completely so they, they barely can get on the team. Zeke's still out here. Zeke, like, what, 26 going on 27? He ain't even hit that real line of demarcation 30 when it's really just a wrap. You know, so I made a video recently about how I got faith in Zeke that, you know, sleeping on him is a bad idea, that this year he going to come back, you know, and get things right, and, you know, everybody should be ready for that. But his mindset, sometimes – like, football is such a game of will, you know. Hearing him come out and say, nah, I do got something to prove. In years, going on year seven, all the accolades I have, he scored 10 touchdowns last year and had a G. Now, he ran half, more than half the year on a torn ligament in his knee. Then never came out. You want to talk about an Iron Man. Never came out nothing. Just ran the whole year hurt. Got to 1,000, got 10 plus. First of all, you get 10 touchdowns in a season. That's a success. Double-digit touchdowns, you know? And it's one of those things where it's not even that Zeke's being slept on. Zeke's been written off. Like, it's just over. He's never going to get back to normal. And I just feel like that's a grave mistake. But he coming out saying he has something to prove lets me know that he's going to work harder. That's what I'm saying. When you see him training, you hear about – that he's running faster than usual and you see him putting in work in may even though everybody got mad at his little workout video it's a cosign to you let to letting you know that you know what i'm saying the cowboys is moving differently you know a lot of the quotes i've been paying attention to you hear about d law saying you know i want to i wanted to come back more focused he cut his hair he more focused you know I'm more, more locked in dak talking about being able to actually train and not rehabbing you know, and he back, he back locked in. And, you know, everybody always brings up San Fran. Like, San Fran was that moment that they can't get out of their mind. Years past, we take a hard L. People just move on. I'm still hearing players and the team bring up this San Francisco playoff loss. Because it's still on. It's on their mind. It's on their chest. They they like, nah, we got to correct that. You know, they, they had a plan going into the draft. They wanted to fix a lot of things with the team. You know, they've got rid of certain people that they feel like didn't fit the new mold of the team. You know, people that they didn't feel like had enough dog in them. You know, some players that they wanted to bring back that, that acted like they didn't want to come back, they just let them move on. Like, all right, forget it. I just, I'm liking the new way, to, the way the team seems like it's moving. It's different. It's way different than years past. You know, like, I don't know. We just usually come through way too entitled. Players living off other players' legacies. You know what I'm saying? Letting the fact that the Cowboys have built up such a stature in a league really 
you feel like you earned something and you ain't even did nothing yet. You feel me? Tyler Smith said it best. The the, the rookie, he came in and they was talking about the, the 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 trophies when he was walking through the star. You know, and he's like, I don't want to touch none of that stuff. I want to go get my own mindset. Mindset. I'm just liking the way that the team is sounding and coming together. I said that the other day on my live. I said that I like the way this team is coming together. And it's perfect because everybody's on Philly. I love that. Everybody's saying, you know, Philly didn't pass us and, you know, it's day year and the Cowboys are going to be eight wins and nine. And I love it. I love it because we just usually we get pumped up throughout the whole offseason. And they usually don't work in our favor. The season start and it's so much pressure. Players be folded. Let Philly deal with that this year. For the first time in a long time, we get to be underdogs. We get to be the written off that y'all don't really got a shot. I like that. You know, but look, it's Sunday afternoon. I'm going to get back to the party. I just want to step out here and chop it up with y'all for a couple minutes. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Y'all, Do y'all feel like, from what you've heard this offseason, like from the players and the coaches, do you feel like there's a new mindset in Dallas? Or are you going to come here in the comments and say, I don't care what they do or believe what they say until I see it? And if that's your, you know, if that's your, um, Thought process behind it, that's fine. That is fine. But look, I've played football before. Obviously not at the pro level, but all I know is this, man. It's crazy how, like, teams come together. Look at the Bengals. Let's use the Bengals as an example. The Bengals last year was not, no one thought that they could do what they did. You know, now at the point now, a lot more players in the Bengals are looked at as you know, Pro Bowl caliber and better. But at the end of the day, in the beginning, nobody gave the Bengals any shot, right? But they came together as a team because of mindset, because they believed that they can get it done. All I'm saying is just let the Cowboys come together, man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But look, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all do y'all thing. Enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday. I'll holler.